Greetings, everybody. Uh, today we're going to go over this guy. This is the Anti-Eternia He-Man. This one was a random uh, pickup. Uh, I went through Target. So I'm currently looking through tar uh, Target mostly right now because they have the, I think, second or third wave of the Masters of the Universe um, Origins, which is ones that I missed. Check out my Instagram if you want to see the, the picture of all this crazy stuff that I purchased. But I have this whole wave, uh, and then... I passed on him at first, and then I saw the storyline for him and was like, okay, this guy's pretty cool. So now I'm going to buy it, and we're going to open him up. This is the U.S. package, so I will have the comic book inside that is English uh, with the words and such. Let's take this guy out. Uh, this was, yep, still have the, uh, the little, little nubs there. We got our uh, our descriptor uh, thing here that shows. Let's point her down. Shows the uh, what you can do. You can make his head, his arms, his waist, and feet off. Still no legs. That's one of the, my big things. Is the crotch is fine, but the the legs got to be able to take off, or it's kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, so the idea behind these figures is that you can actually take like the feet off and make different guys but no one has the same skin tone like at all like no matter what what character it is everybody's got a different skin tone so it looks weird like you're talking green and red and all these other weird colors uh, <laughs> this guy's this guy is literally as dark as as you can get for a figure uh, aside from like what vanta black uh, and <laughs> No one else has anything like this, so it's it's kind of annoying <laughs> at, a, at a point. Uh, you can't really swap anything out with him. Defeats the purpose of the function when you make it impossible to change. So, uh, he does come with... Uh, it's pretty much He-Man, but in black and red. Uh, so, if you look at him, it's pretty slick. I'm not gonna lie. I the storyline is is mind you. I'm I'm gonna paraphrase the storyline, but he uh, essentially it's a it's a He-Man that starts killing other He-Man uh, from different universes and taking their powers. So if you've ever watched the movie The One from Jet Li, it is that. But He-Man, <laughs> uh, he does come with a, an axe, which I will store in the back because I I'm a sword guy for the most part. And then he has an all black sword. It is it is definitely weird. So uh, his hair and and uh, loincloth and boots are all the same burgundyish color, and the rest of it's more of a, a, a redder, actually a little bit orange still, um, a little bit different. And on the back we have that. Now the the function is that you can take the legs off. And I've tried to explain this in another video, but I'm going to go over it a little more because this guy is probably the easiest to deal with. Um, and then you can take the hands out, which this is one of my... Actually, can you take the hands off of these? I thought you could. Yeah, you can take the hands off. Um, it's one of the more frustrating uh, things is that you can do these things, but to, to what end? Um, So this is his, his chest as it is. Now, I guess you could use this and just say that it's like a, a skin suit or something, you know, like a, a tight suit. Um, yeah. Let's find a guy that we can use that would be fun to swap out. Uh, I don't have many around, so bear with me. Let's try King Randor here. I got King Randor. And what we're going to do is we're going to take ugh, Randor's head off. And his arms off. And you see what I mean by like, it's kind of weird. I'm just going to say that. It's kind of weird because, I mean, I guess, I guess some of them do just have clothing on um, and then you can make your own weird randor man like so on the side there 
and this is this is Randor Man. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of goofy, um, but like nothing really looks that cool. Uh, kind of wish that they would just release cheap figures that are unpainted but one solid color. That is my wish. If if Mattel is watching this, which I seriously doubt they are, um, just release like this. This is this is perfect. One solid dude, but literally just he's all one color. So I can buy an all white version, like everything, just one color, no paint, no need. Just literally, it's just like white buck guy, <laughs> uh, purple buck guy, you know, and just make them like that so that we can make our own figures if we decided to. That being said, oh, come on there. Uh, that being said, I am doing my own toy line and I'm kind of using this as like the basis for it. I'm not doing quite as many points of articulation, but when it comes um, to fruition, hopefully by Christmas is my thing. Cause I don't feel like, I don't feel like launching a Kickstarter at Christmas. I'm gonna wait until some people got some money back in their bank accounts. Um, hopefully around tax time, I'm going to launch it and we're going to get to see the craziness that comes from, and it's kind of a Masters of the Universe themed, uh, toy line. I currently have a GoFundMe up, uh, just to help get the, um, the ball go, ugh, ball rolling on that. Um, if you do the, if you give it like, I think 20 or 25, it says on the, on the GoFundMe, I'll list that in the description. Um you get an exclusive test shot of one of the figures. So currently I'm going to be making these kind of basement style. Um, but once I hit mass production, then I'm going to have someone else make them and, and just sell them as is. But the test shots are going to be uh, harder to get. And they're going to be weird colors. And, uh, and you'll get one. And it'll be... I don't know if signed is the correct word, but it'll be cert cert certified that it is a, a test shot from from a, a random one so that you don't get that. They might be resin. Uh, I'm going to try for, for actually getting the actual test shots. Um, and some of them are going to be specific to other YouTubers, so keep an eye on that. But anyone who does 25 gets a free one of those with their regular order. You just have to tell me when you back the Kickstarter... Yes. So let's take a look. There he is in all his glory. Uh, he does have a little bit of a side eye going, um, which is fine. He's evil He-Man. I don't really care. Uh, this has Sun. Uh, this is technically the Rulers of the Sun. Sun Man rises, uh, and it has all of the fun in here. And it looks like Sun Man shows up to save the day or something after this. He-Man's been all bad and stealing everybody's powers. Yep. Real interesting. Uh, it's cool. I like it. Uh, kind of glad that they, they've they started including some of the other weirder lines. Hopefully they do some other ones that are also... Uh, that, I mean, uh, Rulers of the Sun was probably one of the few that did not actually rip off He-Man, I don't believe. I don't think they, they, they had full new, new, uh, new sculpts and everything. So... Um, that's probably why they're still cool with Mattel. They weren't just knockoffs. They didn't just rip off the entire intellectual property and so on. They made their own thing, and that is why they're still around and available. Um, anti Eternity He Man's pretty cool. I'm glad to get him. Um, probably gonna put him on top of my Eternia uh, as a as a as a warning, or maybe I'll put him in the Eternian jail. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, but I, I, I did back Eternia, uh, last days now, so I can't even tell you, hey, back it. If you didn't back it, you are screwed. Um, I did only get one. I wanted to get two, but money was not going to allow me to get two, uh, because I wanted to have one, uh, for later. Because every once in a while I run into one of these crowd funds. Like, I'm kind of regretting not getting the His Tank. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, <laughs> I, I had I had money I needed to to spend on life at that point in time. Um, so here's here he is here he is and all his juicy goodness. He looks like a like a piece of licorice. <laughs> anti attorney He Man. He's he's licorice He Man. He's got the the Ennis and the and the red rope licorice all together. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll make a Candyland uh, version of him. Uh, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. And until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus and these are toys.